Hello YouTubers and uh, drone pilots. Today I'm going to teach you how to shoot 360 photos using drone. For now I'm going to use my Mavic Mini but you can do the same to, to the other drone. So let's go. Now that we are here, first thing first, uh, let's set the camera gimbal settings. Just go to the settings, in the control tab, and then uh, scroll down and you can see the advanced gimbal settings. Just click and make sure you allow the upward gimbal rotation. And then fly the drone to the position we want. that I position the drone I look at the background and it it looks good so I'm ready to capture 360 photo so as you can see the triangle on the screen is uh, facing we are facing same side so there I will go up the camera and then uh, start capturing so shoot next oops Shoot. Next. Shoot. Let's do this until we rotate 360. The more photos you take, the more beautiful result. So now, after you shoot this down the camera, then let's take a shoot again. So one. Lower again. Then capture. So let's get lower again. So that's it and let's return back the drone. After you capture all the photos, uh, let's go to the computer and let's edit it. Hello there guys, today let's edit in computer and first uh, you need these uh, files. Adobe Lightroom, this Microsoft Ice, the Photoshop, the file info XMP and yeah, of course your 360 photos. I copied this from my drone. The total photo is 57 and first you need this file so to get this you can download in the link description below and of course you can go here so bit.ly slash 360 files. You can download these files here. For example we are going to download this Lightroom. It, it, the link is in txt format so just open and there you can see the download link there are various download link here and this is the recommended so let's copy 
and then let's proceed this we can download the photoshop lightroom just click the download and then there you can download it okay so since i already download you can download these all files here including this if you want to try to edit our captured photo the first tool we need is the adobe lightroom so let's open it and then let's import the photos import all the photos import this label waiting time this is where the coffee comes in this video is not sponsored by copico man after importing select one photo then let's develop let's adjust the highlights lower the highlights I think we increase the exposure, the shadow, increase it, the saturation, and vibrance. That's it. When you edit one photo, after that, select all by pressing Ctrl A. And then click this uh, sync so that all the photos will be synchronized. All the photos is edited now. It looks good. And then uh, let's export it. So export and then export. Another waiting time again. Let's go back to the coffee. After exporting, you can now close this Adobe Lightroom. Let's check our photos. It looks good. Okay. Let's proceed to the next step by using the Microsoft Eyes. Let's open. Do not use this button, just drag. Open the exported photos and then uh, press Ctrl A to select all. Drag it in the Microsoft Eyes. After dragging, uh, just click next and wait for it by the way Bear with my English language. I'm trying hard to speak in English instead of using my language and adding an English subtitle. I hope you understand. After import, you can see this weird photo. Here we make a change by pointing the mouse cursor and then let's drag it down until we, we form a straight line. So this. So you can see it looks good and then this center is you can adjust this where is the center of the photo i would like to center the photo here there in magatdam you can adjust this and then just click next as you can see there is a gap above there here we can see the photos if it is looks good Yes, there's something wrong, so everything is looks good. Make sure you select this, the autocomplete. Make sure you click it. So as you can see, this uh, gap, the black above is, uh, when we click this autocomplete, uh, You can see it it looks good now that's it and then let's click next again here we make adjustment here uh if you are posting this on facebook is it is not necessary to use 100 percent you can edit it in 75 percent for now this tutorial let's select uh, 65 or 60 instead 
So that's it, and then uh, export to this 360 stitch. That's it, and wait for it. And then we can now close this uh, Microsoft Eyes, and we don't need it anymore. So this is the result. The file size is 9 MB. Now we are in Photoshop. Let's open the photo that we stitch on the desktop. This one. This is the photo we stitch from the eyes. Let's go to the image and then canvas size. First, let's click this one. There. And then this one. Make sure you select the pixels. The size of the height should be the half of the width. And this one, let's get the half size of this. We can use calculator. Divided by 2 equals... Oh, so there is something point. 5990.5 so it should be exact copy so make sure you copy the point and then okay oh so there's an integer okay use this tool market tool and then select above and then let's go to edit and then fill so make sure you select the content aware and then okay takes time again that's why i use the lower resolution The actual 360 photos if you see something errors you can edit it here here you can also add some label so example is this one I would like to add lab label here So add your logo. Let's add some memes. finish adding the label or your logo for me i add some memes now the last thing you can do is import the xmp file the xmp file is used to be able to read the photos as a 360 to do this just go to file and then file info instead of using template select this import let's import the xmp file clear the existing properties okay okay and that's it okay. the recommended file type is jpeg by 360 save make sure you click this for better result okay
So let's close now this Photoshop. Let's upload it on Facebook. I'll upload it on my Facebook account. This one. Slow internet there. As you can see, the logo of the 360 photo, it recognized as uh, 360 photos. Let's add some caption. If you are sharing your photo you created, is make sure you add a hashtag spy360 to be able to seen by us and by everyone. If you are a drone pilot or if you love drones, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this and uh, see you in the next flight. Bye-bye.